hey guys welcome today we'll be talking about how to train yellow v11 object detection model on a custom data set for this project we'll be using this data set you can see we have both image and the uh, and its respective annotation file so here we have uh, we have five number of classes those are car cycle bus truck and van and each image you can see we have multiple objects here so if you want to understand this format you can check this thing so the annotation is in this format class id x center y center width and height you can see here so x center y center width and height so we are using this data set now here first we are importing all required libraries then this is the data set uh, data set path you can see now here we are using this function to plot annotations on the images you can see after that here this function will go through all the images and their annotation files and it will consider only those images which annotation file contains information so after that here this function is uh, is is being used to create the dataset.yaml file and this function is being used to create train val split so we have a total number of 976 images out of which 781 is being used for training and 195 is being used for validation so if you after running that code after running that function the folder will be created like this so this folder yolo underscore split will be created within that we have train within train we have images and labels so images we have images and labels we have the respective labels similarly within val folder we have images and labels so this is the okay we have run now if you want to see the information within dataset.yaml you can run this function you can see the information here we are installing ultralytics then after that here we are uninstalling w and b so guys remember to uninstall this thing up to installing uh, ultralytics otherwise it will create issue during training here we are downloading the pretend weights you can see if you want to download a different weight you can go to this link here you can see all different different weights are available you can see here now after that we are loading the model and then we are training here so here we are giving the data set or yaml so from this file it will find the training data and uh, validation data also then here we have epoch that is 500 image size is 480 project is so this directory will be created within this directory this folder will be created and within this folder all the files that will be generated during training will be stored so if you go to that folder training backup traffic within that all these files which which were generated during training are stored so within weights folder we have uh, we have our word files you can see here so when you start uh, when you run this run this cell the training will start you can see so this is the per epoch information then after after the training you can see we have all this precision recall score uh, with respect to each class you can see here then here this function is being used to plot all the files all the uh, files that are generated during training you can see here now after that this function is being used to do inferencing uh, on the images you can see here then this is the inferencing result uh, from our train model so after that if you want to export the model to a particular format you can use this code you can see currently we are using onnx format so here we are converting .pt file to onnx uh, format so if you go to output you can see within training backup we have traffic then weight files 
you can see we have both base.pt and base.onnx so guys this was yolo v11 object detection on custom data set i hope this was helpful please like subscribe and share i'll see you in the next video till then take care